Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a beauty haul. I have tons of makeup products to share with you guys. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know, but I was recently in Asia. I was abroad the last couple weeks, so a lot of these products piled up while I was away. So if you'd like to see what I recently got in PR, go ahead and keep watching. First up, I received this amazing box from L'Oreal. I don't think I'll ever throw this away. It's just so colorful and fun. I might use this for storage moving forward, but this is a shipment of their newest infallible paints. And I did haul these on Instagram stories, so I will link my Instagram down below if you're not already following me. First up in this box are a crap ton of these infallible lip paints. These are glossy, highly pigmented lip colors, and they come in all kinds of colors. So whether you're a makeup artist or you like to do fun and inventive looks. They're literally a color in here for everybody. And of course, I'm gonna gravitate more towards the nudes, but I might throw some of these fun colors in an upcoming giveaway because this is far too many lip products for me to keep. I actually already own quite a few of these colors, so I will be tossing in my duplicates in a giveaway, so stay tuned for that coming up soon. Next up, they sent me some of their brand new Infallible Paints eyeliners. So these are very fine point felt tip liners. They are a marker format, so if you're a beginner, they're very user friendly. You can achieve a very, very defined pointed wing liner look because the tip is only 0.1 millimeters wide, so that's really nice. However, this was unfortunately a dud for me because I took this black one with me abroad to Asia and it completely dried up after like two weeks of use. Um, you can kind of see it on the back of my hand there, but it kind of skips a little bit and it's not as black as it used to be. So unfortunately, as much as I like the product and it was great at first, it dried out so quickly, making me uh, give this a poor review. So this dried up in record time, so I'm pretty disappointed with that. But I will be trying out the teal color, the turquoise, and the white just to see how I like them. I'm not going to use these as often though, so I, I don't know. They might just dry up after one use, I'm not sure. The cobalt looks really nice too. So I'll give these a try again, but the black was a dud. It just dried up way too quickly for me. Next up, L'Oreal has a ton of these eyeshadow duos. These are cream eyeshadows. So these come in 12 dual-ended duos, and let's see, I don't know what the retail price on these will be, but again, I picked out the three most neutral combos, and I'm excited to try these out a bit more. We have Nude Fishnet, Cool Ivory, and Brown Sugar, and some of these are matte and shimmer combos, or just matte combos, so we'll be trying these out and letting you guys know what I think. So I have a ton more of those to give away, so stay tuned for that. Next up is this stunning blush palette, and this has one, two, three, four colors plus a brush. These are supposed to be really pigmented. We have, you know, everything from a peachy color to an orangey color to a hot pink to a cooler pink, and I think these are really fun, summery, springy colors. Gonna look great on a variety of skin tones. We'll just have to see how pigmented it is to find out how wearable it can be on my fair skin. So this blush palette will retail for $16.99. It's a little bit pricey for a drugstore, but you get four gorgeous colors in it. And from what I can tell, they're matte colors. There's no shimmer whatsoever in them. So the eyeliners are gonna retail for $9.99, but you know how I feel about that. Not really impressed with the longevity of it. The eyeshadow duos are going to retail for $8.99. I think that's a great price point because you get two colors and you get tons of product in here, so this should last you quite a while. And then finally, the lip paints, these retail for $9.99. All right, next up I have some 2017 releases from Elizabeth Arden. I actually haven't tried too much from their brand, but they occasionally send me PR. These three products I'm gonna show you from Elizabeth Arden are from their Liquid Assets collection. It's all about this wet look trend and how to wear it. First up, I have their beautiful color Bold Liquid Lipstick. And this liquid lipstick is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It has a sponge tip and the product will come out through that and you can kind of smooth it over your lips. You can kind of see the color in the package right there. It's kind of like a peachy pink. The shade I have is Passionate Peach number eight. And you kind of pump this little lever here to kind of get the product to dispense into the tip. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Okay, so it's not like a matte liquid lipstick. It's more of a plush, kind of creamy color. Ooh, that's really nice. I like the color of that. It kind of has a vanilla cupcake scent, very similar to MAC and Jouer. So I will have to try this out a little bit more on my lips, obviously, to let you guys know what I think, but it's kind of a glossy finish lip color. It looks very hydrating and creamy, so I'm excited to try this out on my lips. It looks like it's going to be a very comfortable to wear lip color. It also says it's not supposed to feather or bleed, so I will put that to the test and let you guys know what I think. All right, next up they sent me three liquid liners, and 
Unfortunately, there isn't a black in here. They sent me two of the Gilded Browns and one of the Electric Blue. This is their Bold Defining 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner. So here's what the tube looks like. And you probably wanna shake it up to make sure the color is well blended. And this is supposed to be 24 hour wear. I try not to wear my makeup for more than 12 hours, but you know, stuff happens. So I'm gonna give you guys a big swatch and a little swatch. This brown liner is definitely shimmery. It has rose gold, bronze, and gold shimmers in it. So it's very pretty. I don't typically wear a brown liquid liner, but I'll definitely give it a go and let you guys know what I think. And last up from Elizabeth Arden, we have the Bold Illuminating Liquid Highlighter. I'm most excited about this one, I think. It comes in a little pot. It kind of reminds me of the Pure Cosmetics eye polishes. It is in a jar with a mesh filter and it's a beautiful kind of honey toned gold Ooh, that's really really pretty let's get a little bit on my finger that's probably way too much I'm gonna blend it in my hand Ooh, very very pretty this highlighter is stunning it might be on the border edge of what might be too dark for my fair skin tone but it kind of has that champagne pop kind of vibe to it it has that like peachy undertone it's dried down pretty nicely I don't think I'd apply it that pigmented to my face I would try to blend it out a little bit more so it's a little bit more sheer but that's really nice thank you so much Elizabeth Arden I'll be trying those products out some more and let you guys know what I think all right next up I received this little kit from pixie I actually haven't tried too much from pixie before I've tried some of their facial mists and a couple of their products here and there but I'm excited to be trying some more products from the brand and this is their hello rose set I believe they sell this at Target and this is some of their favorites for a fuss free glow I love anything kind of rose themed so in this kit you get three different products first is the glow booster and I'm thinking this is a liquid highlighter so you can add it to your base and it's in the color pink pearl it's a liquid face illuminator you can see it right there it feels very wet on the skin it's a very very subtle pinky golden glow i'm definitely going to use this out when i go to hawaii next month to kind of give my skin a little bit of an extra glow so this looks pretty good i'll have to try it out some more next up we have the rose gold beauty blush duo Here's what the product looks like right there. Two different colors. One's kind of a shimmery blush and one's kind of a more golden highlight. I like these kind of products because you can customize your look. You can use one or the other or you can blend them both together to get a beautiful rosy golden glow. So one swipe and one swipe. Ooh, pretty darn pigmented. Those look pretty darn good. I'm actually quite impressed. The blush isn't overly pigmented where it'd be hard to work with. It actually looks just right. And the highlighter is stunning. It's a very pale, pearly highlight, which I like because I am fair. If I go too golden, sometimes it can look cray. So that looks like my kind of highlight right there. And the blush is very, very flattering and pretty. So I am pretty impressed at first swatch. So nice work, Pixie. Again, this is called the Beauty Blush Duo in Rose Gold. This is the Lip Lift Max in the color Sheer Rose. It's a lip plumping gloss you can wear alone or over your favorite pixie lip color. It has just a classic mint scent to it. Ooh, it's actually more brownie mauve than I expected. There is the color right there. It's very much more of a nudie mauve color than I was expecting. I was expecting something a little more rosy, but still pretty nonetheless. I'm very picky with lip gloss. It has to be comfortable to wear. It can't be sticky and it can't separate the lip color underneath. So I'll put this to the test and let you guys know what I think. But thank you so much to Pixie. I have some more Pixie PR that I featured in my skincare haul. I'll link that down below. They sent me some of their facial mist. You'll definitely want to go check out that video if you like facial mist like I do. Lots of good stuff from the brand. Next up, I received some PR from Beauty Blender, the one and only, the original makeup sponge. I actually purchased quite a few Beauty Blenders at IMATS LA this January, a couple months back. I'll link that video down below if you want to see my haul, but you can never have too many beauty sponges on hand in your stash. And they sent me, you know, their best sellers, right? So the original Beauty Blender, the Beauty Blender Blusher, and the Beauty Blender Micro Mini. I don't know how much use I'll get out of the mini, but again, I'm willing to give it a shot. They also included their Blender Cleanser Solid, 
travel friendly soap. It's a solid soap that you can use to cleanse your beauty blender. You can also use it to clean your brushes. I actually have tried one that's black. I'm not sure if it's different. They also included an extra set that I'll have in an upcoming giveaway, so stay tuned for that. I find that if you're in a rut with your makeup, sometimes just try applying it in a different way. And if you've never tried a beauty sponge, Beauty Blender is honestly the best one you can go with. It's a little bit pricey, but just trust me when you try it for the first time with some of your favorite foundations, your makeup can look significantly different. And for heavy foundations, you can share it out with a Beauty Blender for foundations that you didn't like before you try it with the beauty blender it might change your opinions the beauty blender can transform your makeup so give it a try and stay tuned for a giveaway coming up soon featuring their products all right and last up i have some brand new makeup brushes from elf and generally speaking i think elf brushes are great quality for the price they're accessible you can find them at target elf's website of course and they have so many different types and ranges and there's a lot of great options and there's a lot of great dupes for really expensive designer brushes but you know coming from me I'm kind of a makeup brush snob I have very expensive ones I have very cheap ones I have everything in between I love my expensive ones but I love a good bargain so they sent me and I'm just holding these two up because these are the only two that I've opened so far so I think that these are all part of their precision range this is a flat tapered paddle brush this is the number 201 and this is their pencil brush the 202 from the precise range I believe these are all synthetic brushes. This is the 104 Precision Sculpting Brush, the Precision Eyeliner Brush, number 204, the Precision Eyebrow Duo Brush, number 203. This brush has been working great so far for eyelid, you know, color application as well as brow bone highlight, and of course pencil brushes are great. I have yet to put this one to the test, but uh, excited to try those out some more. And they also tossed in their new brush cleanser wipes. and. I've never tried a brush cleanser wipe before, but I think it's really neat. Ooh, and they're individually wrapped, so this will be perfect for travel. You know when you're traveling, you know, and you have dirty makeup brushes and it makes your makeup not so fun to apply? Voila. This will be really handy for when you're traveling and you don't have to pack as many makeup brushes if you can clean them properly. So these are going to be great for spot cleaning your makeup brushes on the go and you don't have to pack as many as you normally would. So thank you so much, Elf, for sending those products my way. All right, you guys, so that's about it for my latest makeup haul. I hope you guys liked it. I'll link all the products mentioned down below for your shopping convenience. And if you like haul videos, I'm guessing you do because you're watching this video all the way to the end, I will link down below my latest skincare haul. I have tons of great new products, new, new to me brands. So stay tuned. I have some more videos coming up. I have favorites, empties, and some travel vlogs from Asia. So stay tuned for that. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.